Cheers, everybody. We are back for another edition of Bourbon on a Budget. It's TJ Pittenger, Ben Cock, and Brendan Sinone. The whole gang is back together after several weeks. We ready. What? what? We oh. ready. Bring the bread. <laughs> we had Elliot last week. We had Joe before that. We had a week where Ben didn't show up because he was dying of COVID. He Thank God he, he was. Took COVID. He is not dead anymore so thank you for not dying all the way ben glad to have everybody back just ben, that way i came back barely um but never been worse um so glad everybody's back glad that we're we'll able to do this again hey this show is like live it's not Ooh, really live, we, live. Like we did oh. we did pre-record it we like, live spoiler alert uh, but we're gonna send it live on periscope and all the different places so hopefully people like that twitter whatever whatever Ooh. periscope really is no more but um, live on Twitter, live everywhere. Hopefully live you guys journal. like that. Um, MySpace. So we have an exciting episode. Are you guys Stapleton fans? Like, do you like Chris Stapleton? Do you like that re- <laughs> remix of the, or not remix, but the. Who? Who? talking about? What? Are you a Chris Stapleton fan? Who's Chris Stapleton? Smooth as yes. Tennessee whiskey. Oh, I know that song. Yeah, yeah. You're a smooth. Yeah, that's who sings that. So. Um, I got an singing, idea. Right? I, I would like You're strawberry singing. wine. I have yeah. an idea to do a cask finishing with strawberry wine. No one's ever tried that before. Or that if terrible. it has, okay. I don't know. Just kidding. Just kidding. You can do that. More power to you. I want to be inclusive of your ideas. Thank um, you. I'm not a. It's not I, a strawberry I, I don't have wine bad finish. Ideas. It's I'm not a strawberry wine finish. It's a finish that had to do with strawberry wine. Um. We have a Patreon. Where we're Our Patreon there. guests would understand that. Yeah, yeah the, no, the, we're not. We're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really funny joke that none of you will get, but just know that it was funny. Um, the three of us find it hilarious. I love inside jokes. I'd, be, I'd love to be a part of one. I love to be a part of one. So <laughs> dang it, I was there. I was there. Were we going to start the show now or three hours from now? Um, so anyway, fun episode tonight where we talk a little Jack Daniels because that is. We've the, what I've missed the most is not having all of us on the show. Like we were right in the middle of King of the Hill, and so yeah. like that sucks to not have that for several weeks in a row. Because I'm like, all right, let's go. And we it was just got to the, getting good too. Uh, was, we, we were finally just got yeah. to some hitters. Yeah. yeah the worst thing about COVID was really, really, you know, throwing off our King of the Hill attorney. That's what <laughs> really, really, really sucked about it. it. You guys lost, I never got it. lost his smell. Yeah. lost fifteen pounds. I'm still dealing with chronic inflammation, a cough. But yeah, TJ couldn't get his whiskey one night. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Like three Sorry. nights. Like three nights. We've delayed it by three weeks. It's been almost a month. <laughs> we in here, it's baby. Ridiculous. Um. So Jack Daniel's Barrel Strength Rye is for those of you that have probably also died like Ben, um, and forgot we were doing a King of the Hill segment where rare breed rye takes on a different rye every single week. It's now on its fourth challenger, which Rare Breed Bourbon knocked off Old Forester 1920 in its fourth week. Mm-hmm. Um, tonight's challenger is Jack Daniel's Barrel Strength Single Barrel Rye, the 2020 Special Edition. Boom. Fantastic. Boom. Amazing. It's going to win. Like I can tell it's going to win. It's going to be a tough one. But it's gonna win. It's so good. It's probably one of my favorite pours I've ever had. In my it life. is arguably the best, the best pour, the best it's bottle. So I good. So we're we're putting now. If Rare Breed Rye can win this one, it's gonna go all the way. Yeah. Um. So we are gonna do that as part of King of the Hill. We're gonna talk a little Jack Daniels. Um. I don't know. Maybe this is just kind of a full distillery episode on Jack Daniels because we're kind of getting into that. Maybe a mini distillery episode is a better way to do that. Not full on, but mini, mini. My daughter had a mini birthday party. So now anytime we say mini on anything, like, hey, we're getting some mini cupcakes. Like she was like a upset. Mini, like it, a mini mouse? Or yeah, a mini mouse birthday, birthday party. Uh, okay. But she's no, now we they were like. spent very little money in the yeah. party. Now when we say mini on anything, she's like, oh, where's mini? And we're like, no, no, mini means small. And she's like, yeah, but where's the mouse? You know, like what's going on? So anyway, a mini segment, not nothing to do with Disney, nothing to do with the mouse, a mini distillery segment on Jack Daniels. And then Ben yes. left me. And left his kid and left his kid with me and went yes. to Colorado. That's right. For vacation. And he's got some stories to tell about vacation. And then we'll get into pursuit and purchases. We'll preview what we're going to review. Spoiler alert. It has to do with Jack Daniels. I would be a gentleman if I told you now, but I'm going to make you wait. Hint, hint. Um, so let's jump right into our show. Brendan, TJ. take it away and tell us. 
about Jack Daniels. Let's talk about Jack Daniels and maybe just as importantly, Tennessee whiskey. Want to sing the song for us real quick, TJ? Strawberry wine. There you go. Thank you, Ben. Hey, uh, so Tennessee whiskey. Do we have any idea, real quick? Do you gentlemen know what the difference between bourbon from and Tennessee. Tennessee whiskey? It's from Tennessee. All right, that's part of it. That is part of it. Tennessee whiskey has to be from Tennessee. Do you know any other differences? I do. Okay. Well, I'll tell. I'll tell them because that's what the script says. But I'm glad you know. That's good to know. <laughs> so I miss this. The, there really isn't a more. huge. <laughs> really is it a huge <laughs> distinction between bourbon and Tennessee whiskey? Uh, as TJ said, Tennessee whiskey has to be from Tennessee, mm -hmm. but it fits many of the bourbon criteria. It has to be at least 51% corn, same as bourbon, it has to be made in America, same as bourbon, it has to be aged in uh, unused or new, better word for it, uh, charred American oak. Uh, so kind of lines up a lot with bourbon. Uh, but other than it being in Tennessee, the big distinction is the Lincoln County process. The Lincoln County process is basically a filtration process where you run the distillate through a uh basically you run it through through charcoal right and different types of charcoal which i know sounds gross uh for uh specifically uh jack daniels it's going to be like a maple charcoal the uh mm -hmm. the long branch uh that is used in uh for wild turkey it's bourbon but they use like a mesquite charcoal that they mellow it through so so it's a process that basically mellows out the whiskey it's called the lincoln county process because that's where jack daniel distillery used to be was in lincoln county uh, and I, I can get into more information about how they do it, but I don't think we need to go into the proofs and the, the chucks of wood that they put in there and the sugar maple timbers and, and whatnot there. Uh, just know that this is not like a real distinction that the federal government recognizes as it's trying to determine what's bourbon, what isn't. Uh, the, the North American Free Trade Agreement does say a straight bourbon whiskey authorized to be produced in the state of Tennessee is a Tennessee whiskey, but that's really the only distinction. So it is kind of kind of nebulous. Uh, that's the, That's what... A Tennessee whiskey is in terms of Jack Daniels. I don't know. What do we want to talk about with Jack Daniels? I'll say this mix it with Coke back in the day. That was a popular thing in, in college. And Gentleman Jack was a good entry level uh, whiskey for me back in the day. Uh, and this bottle here of Jack Daniels, fellas, uh, this is a Master Distiller Edition series, but it's basically just old number seven. Just call it number one and send, put a fancy label on it, charge a little more. That was one of the first times I tried a, uh, a bourbon and was it, or Tennessee whiskey, excuse me, and enjoyed it without coke without ice and had a little something neat and was like okay maybe we can mess with this a little bit so thank you jack yeah. daniels for helping me get to this place here today That's yeah i, I think got. most people's experience with jack is as a mixer right like i don't know a lot, of people that are, mm -hmm. a lot of people that are buying jack daniels and sipping on it neat now there are some products that we're going to get into the jack does a really really good job the barrel strength single barrel rye is great um ben and i both have a pick from Gaspar's is that correct? Of yes. their Jack Shout Daniels, Gaspar's. Jack Daniels single barrel, um, barrel strength bourbon, and you know we like the rye a ton better, but the bourbon is also very good. Mm -hmm. um, they have a heritage, um, a Jack Daniels heritage bottle that I is is and should be in my pursuits and purchases. Um, it's double oaked or toasted barrel um, finished, Ooh. so. That's one that I'd really like. It's tough to find, obviously pretty high pricey on secondary markets and things like that. So, um, but I think your standard Jack Daniels stuff, your old number seven, a lot of people using it as a mixer. It's definitely, uh, you know, when I was in college, I mean, it was like what everybody had around the campfire up in the hills of Virginia and what they were drinking mixed in their Coke, right? Like what all the good old country boys in Lynchburg were we're drinking all our buddies that didn't go to Liberty, obviously. Um, so yeah, I mean, but they, they do, they do fairly good stuff. Like outside mm -hmm. of that, their single barrel products are fine. Their rye is not bad at all. Um, and then their barrel strength stuff is really good. Like Ben mm -hmm. and I absolutely love this barrel strength ride. Brendan, I think you're going to love it as well. It's, it, it's like 130 proof, I believe is this year's edition. Ooh. I shared some with my stepdad. I think it drinks way lower than it's that. I think it drinks killer. closer to the 115 range. Um, it is fantastic. So their entry level products are not necessarily for everyone as far as a sipper, but uh, their, their, their elite stuff is truly elite. Um, mm -hmm. Thoughts on Jack Daniels, Ben? Yeah, I would, I would tend to agree. I, you kind of, I think there's not a single bourbon drinker today that's been out there that has not had a Jack and Coke, you know, first, you know, kind of 
hanging out. That's how a lot of people get into bourbon. And so, or Tennessee whiskey, right? But Jack and Coke is ubiquitous. Like everyone that's, they have an entire drink named after him. That's like, it's just tissues or Kleenex or whatever, you know, like Jack and Coke is the drink for, well, you call them kind of drinks. And so when Jack came out with this uh, single barrel barrel strength rye at you know 70 or 80 bucks, everyone was freaking out about it and said it was great. And I had like these reservations of like, oh, I mean, I know Jack Daniels. I know Jack. I know their regular entry level stuff and their single barrel barrel strength bourbon, which is supposed to be a hit or two. It took me a little bit to like get over like the Jack and Coke that I know from Jack Daniels to the Jack Daniels of they're going to put out some awesome higher end stuff. And so I really think that uh, their high end product is great. Like TJ was saying, completely agree with that. Um, I also have this weird like conversation in my head. If I'm talking to bourbon, like not bourbon drinkers who are just a little bit into bourbon, they're like, Oh, what's your favorite bottle? And I'm like, Jack has this, really good single barrel barrel strength rye and everyone's like oh yeah i love jack i'm like no it's not the same like you don't understand it nothing but it happens to more. me <laughs> like i cannot name drop jack daniels as somebody who doesn't is not in the scene of bourbon you know like oh they had this great barrel strength and, and just no one understands that so it being one of my favorite bottles it's kind of frustrating but it's so good so good <laughs> I like what you said about um, the name being synonymous with the drink, right? Like every whiskey and Coke is, I'll take a Jack and Coke, right? Like I'm not saying that yeah. no one now, now that we get farther into the whiskey scene, if we were going to ask for, oh, well, mm -hmm. we never ask for a, a whiskey and Coke anymore. But if I was, you know, like if I was, you Jack know, and Coke. Say, everybody's a Jack and Coke. That's a great point. And they, they marketed themselves that way and they did a fantastic job with it for sure. Um mm. Even the bottle is classic too, right? Like the old number the seven. The Jack bottle is great. The, the Gentleman Jack bottle is distinct. Uh, looks classy. The single barrel ones all look pretty distinct too. Like they, yeah, they they do a good job marketing. And I think all the price points are pretty fair for the, the quality of what you're getting at each level more or less too. Yeah. Um, ben, when was yes. the first time you had the Jack... Um, single barrel rye was it when we got the bottle was that your first experience with it yeah so we were like hunt hunting it out and i, I want to say we talked about trying to find it on uh a pursuit and purchases in an earlier episode and we got the bottle because they were they were going on secondary for like what was it 180 or 250 <laughs> and i think we got like two or three of these bottles and we sold one before we had an opportunity to like open it, but we sold one because we're like, oh, I, you know, I want to drink this bottle for free. It's good. And then we opened the bottle and I was like, dang, we should have kept all of these. We should have kept all of the bottles. That's how good it is. Oh, oh I remember because some guy gave us half a bottle. That's what happened. We got a yeah. half a bottle off on a trade. And so we, uh, we split, a, we split a bottle, which is, you know, that's a nightmare in itself. But, uh, we split a bottle, tried it, and was like, "This is, this is excellent. It is so freaking good, so freaking good." So my first experience with it was, um, you had a whiskey cake. At whiskey cake, yeah, yeah. I, I got it in a flight with three other things, and I don't. I could look up what the other things were. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I remember telling Ben like, "This was the, this was by far the best thing on the flight. Like, not even mm -hmm. close." I went back. I went to whiskey cake. We have some uh, a buddy, Brendan. You'll meet him this weekend. His name is Johnny. That we were supposed Johnny! to we were supposed yeah. to go to whiskey cake with him on a Friday night. His um, wife ended up getting a little. She wasn't feeling well. It wasn't COVID related, but she wasn't feeling well. They ended up not going. So I looked at Kara and said, like, like, "Hey, an awful person, I don't want to meet him." <laughs> I said, "Kara, let's go to let's go to whiskey cake anyway." Like, even though they can't meet us there, like, let's just go. Let's have lunch. Yeah. We'll, you know, whatever. And I got it that day, and it was amazing. Johnny texts me later that night and says, Hey, she's feeling better. Do you want to get lunch there tomorrow? And I was like, well, we kind of already went today, but yes. know, if you guys are free. Like we'll, we'll go back. Like they've got good food and stuff and obviously fantastic whiskey. And I very rarely order the same drink like two days in a row. I got it again the next day. Like it was that, it was that good that I was like, yes, getting that absolutely again, bring it on. And it was fantastic. So, um, 
I'm excited to jump into this King of Hell. Brendan, Ben, any thoughts before we jump into King of Hell or you want to just jump into it? I have something really, really quick, funny on Jack Daniels. I was doing research for this. I don't know if you mm-hmm. guys know Jack Daniels is coming out with a 10-year uh, age statement whiskey. Um, they hmm. don't really do age statement. If you Everything we've talked about, like nothing has an age statement on it, right? And mm-hmm. as I was doing research, there was an article from 2011 saying that Jack Daniels won't be pressured to put an age statement on its whiskey. Ten years later, after the article is written, they're putting out a ten-year whiskey. I just thought it was funny that it was in the world. They were pressured. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, real quick, anything like any other Tennessee whiskeys that you guys like, like like Dickel or Uncle Nearest or anything that you you nope nothing nothing there. I'm not a Dickel fan. I know that. I'm not usually. I don't. They had their bottle and bond come out a couple mm-hmm. years ago, and the thir- it was thirteen years. Obviously, 100 proof for like $35, $40. It was excellent for the price. I still have a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'll give you some when you come up here. I'll give you yes. some dickle. Come Ooh. on up. Ooh, is that a promise? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm ditching is them that on a Friday. Threat or a promise? I'm, I'm ditching them on Friday night, so you can definitely give them all the dickle you want. Let's go. Uh, the Uncle Nearest sometimes goes on sale at Publix for BOGO. So BOGO, I out. know. I regret um, not getting it. Uh, yeah, a couple so. of, yeah. Um, spoiler alert, we may be chatting with the uncle nearest people Ooh, here soon. My, my, okay. boy, uh, my boy, Uncle Silk, with the Roll Up Network, has has a contact with Uncle Nearest, oh. and there may be some uh, there may be some reviewing of some Uncle Nearest and some other uh, relationships happening. I'll just yes. are we, get, are we so, getting yes. three Ford back on anytime soon? Trace or? Corditos, um, possibly we'll see. Is that I your didn't cousin? Like that. I didn't the like Brendan's that cousin, I thought. No, that's Joe. Joe that was on a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, remember the better Italian guy? Um, oh, yeah. Sorry, Joe. Love you, man. <laughs> um, all right. Let's do King of the, let's right, do King let's of the Hill. Um, for those that are not familiar or don't remember, Rare Breed Rye from yes. Wild Turkey <laughs> up against Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Strength. <laughs> ben, give us a proof difference on these. Oh, it's big. Okay, so the Wild Turkey Rare Breeds 112, and the Jack Daniels is at 130.6. 130. Oh, my goodness. So an 18 plus point, an 18 plus point differential there. Proof, Proof difference. Yes. Yeah. I, man, I. Okay. I love know some both. Let's, let's King of the Hill this. That bottle is beautiful. It is Jack's the bottle, sexiest Jack's bottle. Jack's bottles. Come Jack's on. bottles are beautiful. I'll say that. Like they the Jack, just the old yep. number yeah. seven handle Jack is great. Mm. Um, mm. So at first I didn't know which one was which, and then I tasted both of them. And then now like that, you kind of have an idea of which is which the different notes of the noses are coming out. Oh it's very gosh. clear. Um, oh my gosh. What I believe to be the Jack Daniels is super baking spice forward in very pleasant ways so it's hitting cinnamon nutmeg oh, yeah. clove mm. a little the fruity nose on that <laughs> comes so bready come on it is it's like oh. a dessert uh it's like oh. a it's like a fruity cinnamon cake. dessert a cinnamon cake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah if you if you had like bananas foster and pour it over a banana bread mm. which follows that's what it'd be daniel's profile right. with banana but like mm. There's like cherry, there's there's dark fruits, there's uh, stone fruits, there's banana. There's a lot going on in that nose. And then poor, poor rare breed putting up a good fight. And is it really though? I'm I mean, it does like it's a mid major, but we're in the it's second like, half hey, right I got like, now. And Kentucky's on fire from three. <laughs> that basically, it's a sixteen. Run, seed. It's a sixteen. <laughs> it feels like a sixteen. That's seed a seed. safety. <laughs> Maybe an eight seed that that's kept it close for halftime and it's starting to run out of juice a little bit. I think there's a reason right. why against Virginia. Like this is a, that's just what it is. It was cool for a half, but they're out. I know. To me, this is there's a reason why they're both similar price MSRP, but one on the secondary market is four times MSRP. <laughs> that's why like, it is available. Uh, I mean, I, I will hitter. say yes, it's an absolute hitter. Availability has a lot to do with that. Anytime you market something as a 2020 only release. And rare breed rye is not allocated, then it, it's going to be easier to find. I will say this: if these all of a sudden flipped, and rare breed rye became allocated, and Jack Daniel's single barrel rye, though we know that the Jack Daniel's single barrel barrel strength rye is better, 
people would like the secondary prices would flip on those because I mean, the secondary prices to me are not about how good something is quality wise. It's how hard it is to get. Right. Because yeah. Van it, Winkle's not worth $800. Mm, it's not that yeah. good. It's just because it's hard to find. Yeah. There's a reason why oh it starts gosh. becoming difficult and pursued, but then yeah. The, just the, look at the color on both. Oh of them. yeah. Like, I mean, it's so obvious, which is which, right? Like, it, you know, I think from a nose, from a taste, I mean, you know, yeah. We all kind of are aware of what's happening here, but uh, the color, the color on that Jack is beautiful. Ben, hold that bottle up again. For those listening, oh. go go subscribe on YouTube so you can hold see Ben hold mm. the name is in his hand. Do you want me to hold bottles in front of your face? This is it. That's for the Patreon. That's for the uh, oh the, yeah, the OnlyFans fans only. What's only? That's fans? right. That's right. Come yeah. on. Okay, what do you so? Like a it's so dough. good, man. It yeah. is so good. So what do we like about the rare breed? Let's give that some love. It's made right. through three rounds. Let's give let's give that some shine. Good let's job, rare breed. A for I know. Effort. Participation trophy here. Me uh, giving it some love. It is very crisp. Uh, the nose got some cool stuff going on, like a little Coca Cola vibe. Uh, it, so it has like some traditional rye notes, but kind of has its own distinct thing going on. It's a really, it's a really, I was say good. It's a great rye. It's a rye great rye. bottle. Yeah. Some stores are treating this as allocated. Some stores are like putting this on their like. There's a store in Tampa that I know that puts it out on like on their like releases, and this is not an allocated bottle, but it's it's hard to find, so people treat it as allocated, and they kind of jack up the prices. Like it is, it's not the easiest thing to find. It's great, it's not super easy to find. It's a, it's a refreshing compared going to the Jack Daniels though, because there's so much depth and heft to the Jack Daniels comparatively. This almost has like a crisp kind of clean aftertaste. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, no, it's good. I I feel bad that it got a. This was a tough third or fourth round matchup too. Like the Jack Daniels could have easily been the fifth seed and or the fifth uh, the fifth round the, the final boss level, but which I think that I think when we originally set this up, we thought that it would be that Jack would be the fifth um, and the final boss. But because we reviewed Gentleman Jack, we wanted to make this kind of a Jack themed week. If you're going to lose in week five, you might as well just lose in week four and put put Rare Breed out of its misery. And so, yeah, we lose in week one, you know. And, and we were in and the other one that we were contemplating going back and forth was the Michter's Barrel Strength Toasted Rye, which probably would have beat out the Wild Turkey. Anyway, yeah, that's right. I think so. I mean, I definitely would have voted for it because it was toasted. So yes. that would have been on Brendan if, if it would have or not. And mm. so Ben probably would have voted for Herbery just to spite me. Um, but yep. uh yeah, it probably would have lost that one too. Like that's a that's a great, great bottle, especially being the barrel strip. Michter's just does such a great job. Um mm -hmm. but this jack is special. Um, are are we all in agreement? Are we all gonna vote here? Like, I'll I'll take this one. Yeah. I'll Start it off, TJ. Yeah, ended up being Jack. So one vote for Jack, zero for Rare Breed Rye. Um, who wants to go next and decide this thing? <laughs> Third vote. I'll go next. Me. I'll go next. Uh, it's definitely Jack. Sorry. Yeah. It's just so good. Like It is outrageously good. Yeah. Same for – Was that a Band-Aid? Well, that that's Brandon? the bottom of the tape. It's a B if you can tell. There Jeez. you go. And B was the Jack Daniels. B for so. Band-Aid. Uh, um, good night, sweet prince. Good night, uh, rare breed. You hung, you hung in there tough, but that, yeah. No if match. if you can muster the money with like maybe you and a buddy or you and two other buddies can come up with enough money to buy this because it's hard you, now you can't find. It. I don't know if they're gonna release it in twenty twenty one, but if you can come up with the money to buy a bottle of something secondary, it is well worth it. Well worth it. You got zero added water. I mean, you got 130 proof. It's coming out of there pretty good. So try to buy this if you can. It is a great end of the year bottle. You, know, you want to drink something around Christmas time with some really good friends. This is the bottle to, to buy. Wow. At two, even at 250, even at 250, this would beat out your um, Kentucky Owl. Your that's that's a that's a 200 dollar bottle. Did uh, you bring, did you bring that back? What? Did you get one of those? No. Oh, you looked up at it. Oh, yeah, he you did. I got a Kentucky no, no, no. Owl. I, no, in my head, I was just looking at things. I'm like, what would I be price-wise? I thought price you were going to that Kentucky Owl that you were talking about the other day. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm 
this would this would beat the pants off most other two hundred fifty dollars models. I agree with that, and I cannot wait to try Ben's Jack Daniel single barrel rye at Christmas time um, because mine's almost out. Like, oh single, my gosh! Significantly I, less. I so, I'm so I, reluctant to, to pour this. Yeah, I pour so pretty well. Like, I like. Well, I also sent Brendan a sample of it. I shared yeah. some with my stepdad. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I have to say something. So I've learned through Ben and TJ, and I do the same thing too. But I'm just going to give you guys some crap for this. Yes. The better the quality of bourbon or whiskey, mm -hmm. the more you guys like it, the lower uh, the sample, the amount of, of – That's how it works. That's yeah. economies. But that's – How that's, much did I give you? How much did I give you? Did I give you a half a, half a sample? Oh, man. I, like I think you poured it to where you're like, uh, I'm rounding up to half. Like That was like 43% yeah, an and you were like, there that's we go. Freaking that's freaking out. Well, so that's, and, and if I will tell you, if, been, if I – if it was a full bottle that I had, I would have, but I know I'm getting low. I mean like there's not – And you there. can't find it. There's, it doesn't I, exist anymore. No. Once it's gone, it's gone, man. Apparently they put this out at like my Walmart or no, my um, Winn-Dixie and didn't oh realize like it was allocated and, and kind of messed up with that. Yeah. And ABC I, did the same thing. Uh, That's how we got a couple of them. It was ABC. Yeah, did it was out there for like a day or two. Um, like I said, I talked to people who are not in the bourbon scene and they're like, oh yeah, I'd like Jack too. This is not that. This is not that. How is so the Jack Daniels their their single barrel rise? So it's probably like the forty seven percent or whatever the the barrel. Oh, the regular rise. one. Yeah, the one the red bottle. Yeah, no idea, no freaking idea. Because if it's like a, a slightly tamed down version of this, that, that actually is probably a pretty good uh, price point for it. Hmm. But but no, nah, I mean, now, so. it's hard for I and mean, that's like fifty dollar bottle, right? Yeah, I was gonna say about forty five yeah. bucks. Yeah. Hard for me to spend that. We should try it, but I'll try it at Whiskey Cake. So I, There's I a sample pack it. of like Jack Daniels Single Barrel, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye, and then the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Bourbon, I think. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a great bottle. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, that's it for King of the Hill. We need to, we, we'll take a few weeks off, but then maybe yeah. we'll do a toast, a finish King of the Hill. A finished yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Seagrass. Oh. Was that supposed to be on in the were we supposed to have that as one of the King of the Hills in this or whatever? It's fine. We we're thought good. about it, but I think we we, we decided that finish is coming up. So finish okay. is, is gonna happen. we we should just go with all sorts of types of finishes, like not just toasted, right. but we should need cab finish ones, we need maple syrup finish, we need Ooh, like five no, different finish dry ones. No, we'll go Sorry, with some. No, TJ's bringing up a uh he's bringing up a cask drink maple one, but yeah, Joe, Oh, I dropped yours. Sorry. So you it's not gonna make it. <laughs> yours that you dropped. Well, we'll just drink Joe's crappy decadence then. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> his um, his favorite of all time. Um, okay. I think we have one more segment, and then pursue some person. Yeah, a couple more things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ben, talk to us yes. about Colorado. Oh man, Colorado, great, great. Um, I didn't have too much time to bourbon hunt. Uh, cause we were there for a wedding. And so there's only so much time, but I made it to two different stores. One was, you know, a miss, nothing there, nothing there. Right. The other one though, I walked in and they had a great selection. A lot of things that they don't have in Tampa. Um, there's a distillery, I think it's called like mythology. That's like the head distiller from high West left and started mythology. Um, we don't have that in Tampa. And they had that there. And I was like, interesting. So they have a good bourbon selection. They also had some smoke wagons. Also a check. I was like, yeah, this place is pretty solid so far. Um, and then I talked to the guy behind the counter. Like, hey, you guys got any, any rare bottles, anything that you kind of get an allocator or whatever? He's like, do you like rise? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and he goes, well, do you know? hold on. So he walked to the back and pulled out a Willet Woo! family estate. Cast ring four year rye, and little yeah. did little did he know that I was talking with one of my buddies. Shout out Jake. And he was like, "Hey, I'm looking for this uh, Willett Family Estate bottle, the rye, and so he'll be getting this at some point. Uh, he's paying me for it, but he'll be getting this at some point secondary, in the next couple secondary, of weeks. Secondary, secondary, <laughs> secondary price. Mark up, mark up, yeah. mark up. Profit, profit. Um, no, no, no." Uh, He's going to be hooked up and we're going to, you know, we're going to try this. So I'm pretty excited about opening this uh, in comparison to all the other rise that I got. Uh, good, good trip though. Um, 
it's always worth hunting around for bourbon when you're out of your market because they're going to have different selections of different distilleries. So go in there. The only issue is trying to transport it home. <laughs> so good luck. Buy some bubble wrap, get a big old uh, That's right. gallon Ziploc bag and, and yep. just hold your breath and hope you make it back safe. Mine was just in my carry on. And so that worked out great. Wait, you can I'm just bring kidding. that. It was not in the carry. Those... <laughs> Three ounces. <laughs> Um, it was gonna I, be with all, it was gonna be with all the water bottles. It was in my carry on. I um, the real MVP of that story is me. Um, but yeah, interesting. You, had, you I didn't think you showed up in that story at all. You did absolutely um, nothing. <laughs> but other than that, um, yes, nailed it. So okay, Brendan's Indian wedding two weeks ago. Ben's Colorado trip. Oh um, yeah. We're all gonna be together this weekend in Tallahassee. Tallahassee so we'll have coming some up. Tallahassee For a wedding. stories. Or not a wedding. Not a wedding. Maybe a funeral. Oh. Um, Whoa. <laughs> too soon. Future callback. <laughs> um, cone holes, please. Foreshadowing. Um, <laughs> Football. This, that in the business is what you call a teaser. Uh, pursuits and purchases. I'm adding the Jack Daniels Heritage mm -hmm. bourbon to my pursuits and purchases. If anyone has it, Please just send me a sample. Like I just want to try it. Like please, please, please. I'm begging you. Oh, good. I'm glad this hasn't gotten weird and desperate. And so, um, um, all yeah. right. Outside of my desperateness, Brendan, Ben, any pursuits and purchases? Mm. Brendan, you go first because uh, I think you have nothing. No, nothing. Go ahead, Ben. Wow, you're a loser. Uh, uh, I'm good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna <laughs> wow, try to go to. I'm gonna about desperate from. To uh, nothing. I'm gonna try to go up to Georgia this week uh, on Friday when I have an off day. I haven't done a good old fashioned bourbon hunting in a while, so we'll see what happens. Hey, can we go out Friday night? Did you find the I place? I was thinking for us Saturday. Time? I thought it was Saturday. I guess we're not going on Friday night. I mean, this both, this both trip both is falling apart. Both meme. <laughs> we're free Saturday nights, but I, I, we, I do want to watch uh, the Clemson Georgia game. So. I want it. Yeah, let's. I, I got all. I got all planned out in my mind. You can't throw curveballs at me here. This isn't how I operate. I thought right. we we're doing football. We're just, ben, yes, you can just sit. In, you can just sit in a hotel room by ben, yourself. You, sit, you just sit Friday there night. and drink bourbon. We're good. Ben, that's fine. What have you pursued and purchased? So, um, other than you the will it, family you know. that. Okay, number two. Tell us about the crappy bottle you got. Oh, the crappy bottle. Yeah. So I walked into ABC, which is the only place in Florida that you can find Weller, and so I asked, "Do you guys have Weller?" And they were like, "Yeah, Ooh. I got special reserve." So. I bought a bottle of Weller Special Reserve for like 22 bucks. It's hard to like not buy it at that price, but if you've listened to my review, it's not that great. So <laughs> this is probably not going to be in my the, collection. Get it in the Elliott's uh, CNS or whatever. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a good offering for free. Just yeah, like, it'll be stuff. a good gift someone, or giveaway. Come on, we'll like Weller. Um, yeah, that is a cheat code, man. I don't think enough people know about. You go to ABC here in Florida and you ask them if they mm -hmm. have anything behind the the desk. Usually, they're gonna have a Weller or Buffalo Trace. Like probably once a month, you'll be able to get one of the others. So if you're That's looking right. for one of those in the twenty to twenty five dollar range, like there you go. Yeah. So just get you know. Just have it and then give it away because it's not worth drinking. The next thing, even better. I don't know if it's actually, I don't have tried it yet. I don't know if it's better or not, but I'm more excited about this. How about da, 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 the Kirkland single barrel from Barton 1792, 120 proof, the $30 liter. Let's go. I feel like um, that looks really light for 120 proof, two proof, doesn't it? No one knows. Color? It's uh, unknowable. Try it right now. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do the uh, the six second review. Hold on. He I said he was gonna I, bring. He said he was gonna Brendan. He said he was bringing all three of these up to tally. So yeah, we're, oh, gonna, we're, we're gonna, gonna do a full do a video. Yeah, we're gonna do a lineup review of the right. entire Kirkland set. We can do this that thing, in the east. We can do that in the east wing of Brendan's mansion. Yeah, yeah, that's twenty four seven money. Uh, I do like that. I really had to pull. <laughs> I really had to pull Ben's leg to go ahead and, and pop that open and, and taste it. Yeah, he's okay. like, oh, okay, good idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you suggested that. Um, so yeah, we're, stay tuned. We're gonna do a full a full Kirkland lineup. Nice. But the uh, the single barrel, the top dog, one hundred twenty proof. Mm. Oh, I thought he farted at first. It's a weird noise. Man, that's not bad. It's not bad at all for thirty dollars. 
for Gentleman Jack at a 750 at 80 proof or a leader at 120 proof? Just saying. Availability. Just saying. Avi oh, yeah. Avi <laughs> Why are we arguing about Kirkland bourbon availability? <laughs> but this is hard to get. Freaking sold out in the a same day. day. It day. was yeah. a Probably. day. This thing sold out. Wow. So, Sid texted me and said, like, hey, can you make it up and get it? And I was like, ah, we were busy that day. We were going to town. Out. And I was texting him back a couple hours later. I was like, yeah, I can't. And he was like, oh, yeah, right. it sold out hours ago. <laughs> like, sorry. Yeah. So first taste, neck pour. Let me just give it another, another little try. It's pretty it's good. good. Brendan, so, we're not going to give you – we're not going to have any, any samples. I'm sorry. He's going to drink it all in the next three days. I love it. It's, it's good. I mean, it's not like – Banger good, but for thirty dollars, come on. Yeah, one hundred twenty proof for thirty dollars is impossible. Think about it. It's seventeen ninety two Barton, right? So in theory, you're getting a seventeen ninety two full proof, five less proof, an extra two hundred fifty mils for fifteen dollars less. That's yeah. what you're getting, right? Probably a little lower age statement, I would guess. Like the Barton probably tastes a little bit better. The 1792 probably tastes a little bit better, longer age statement. Right. But maybe. Yeah, when you kind of consider all those things, price, you know? proof, all those things. Again, nothing in this world, not his child, not his wife, mm -hmm. nothing makes yes. Ben happier than a good deal. And so I'm I saying, think that's, that's, that is what you live for. <laughs> that's what you live for is the deal. Um, Some no, people really awesome. don't like these. I found a couple of people that don't like the uh, Kirkland uh, the Kirkland releases. I got Ben's drunk. Ben's I think drunk. they're uh, they're pretty decent. So Ben's drunk. well, I'm excited to try it this weekend. Um, Brendan's like you know going to take us out to the nicest bourbon establishments in Tallahassee. Yeah, you're paying, Brendan. I got to get gas all the way up there, so you got first round. First, on you. first round. You have, a, on you, me. Have a, you have a Tesla. Pappy twenty three. Let's I go. No, when you guys are in my town, I'm paying for the first round. So let's go, yeah. Pappy. My first, my first round is going to be a flight of Pappies <laughs> <laughs> from ten to twenty three. Yeah, I'll take but, all five. I just <laughs> just do double pour two ounces. <laughs> yeah, two ounces each, please. Um, all right, cool. Well, we are reviewing. We talked about it earlier on Thursday. We are reviewing, gentlemen. Jack, J -j 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 we already gentlemen, made. gentlemen, are you excited for that? No, guys, I can't wait. This is gonna be my favorite, the favorite thing we re reviewed so far. I think. Ben, so. do you like bananas? I like banana and I like water, so I oh, feel like we're you pretty much all the way there. Going I feel like I'm gonna love it. I dip my bananas in water. <laughs> Well, that's what we've got coming on Thursday. So make sure you tune in. If you're listening to this, if you're watching it, if you can give us a five-star review, we would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscribe on YouTube. Interact with us on social media. And you, ben, we're glad that you're alive. Right? Ben, I think there's another 120 proof bourbon. You I'm back here, right, baby. Ben. Let's go. We will see you guys on Thursday when we review Gentleman Jack. Until then...